All right, chip of the day. This one's a Dallas DS1220. Uh, it is a non-volatile RAM, a 2K by 8 RAM, and it has battery backup and everything. And I think everybody's familiar with these. Um, there's this funny little black package, and uh, they're fat, and if they're soldered onto the board, they're a real pain. Uh, but uh, I wanted to see inside one of them. So these are obviously out of date. This one is 1988, so I'm not going to put it in a product. Uh, so there, I had three of them. I'm going to open up two of them. On the back side, it's got a little Dallas part sticking out. That's a uh, power switch. So when the power goes off, it automatically switches it over to the battery. So if you crack the top off, there's this little thin layer of plastic that you can kind of scrape off, and there's this Dallas part underneath. Uh, I kind of was butchering it a little bit too much on this one here. I opened up another one, which was older, and I found an, an Oki semiconductor part in it. So in the old days, they just bought their RAM from Oki and put their own thing on top of it. So that was kind of interesting. If you look at a cross section of the part, you'll notice there's a PC board in there. So the bottom pins go up to the PC board and then the, the chip on top acts like a piggyback. It goes on top of that. So that solders to the PC board, the legs solder to the PC board. And you can see here the way I've cut it, you can see the VCC pin take a jog in. So the VCC pin is kind of pulled off separately and goes to uh, uh, the battery backup section. And then it goes back up to the uh, goes back up to the chip after it goes through that other circuit. And here you can kind of just kind of see into a kind of a translucent or transparent part part of the package. You can see the top top chip kind of poking through the PC board. You can see kind of the two layers of the PC board there. And here on the on the bottom side, you can just see uh, I've cut away so you can start to see that little coin cell. And that's all there is to it, that little coin cell. And then they guarantee this for 10 years. So it's that little coin cell that wears out. Everything else is probably just fine. All right, that was Chip of the Day, a DS1220.